In this example, we're going to look at absolute value inequalities that end up giving us all real numbers as the possible solutions. So here we have an absolute value inequality. We begin by trying to isolate the absolute value as we would always. So we subtract 7 from both sides. We have 3 times the absolute value of 7 minus 10x is greater than or equal to negative 39. We divide by the coefficient in front of the absolute value, which is 3, and we get the absolute value of 7 minus 10x is greater than or equal to negative 13. Now, what you should remember about absolute values is that whatever this is, it's going to turn out to be that the left-hand side of this inequality is positive. And if the left-hand side here is positive, that's always going to be greater than this negative. So that's always going to happen. This is a true statement. And when we have a true statement, all possible values for x would apply. So we can say that all real numbers are our solution. Again, the symbol there looks like the paragraph R. And if we can graph this, we'll throw um, 0 on there, and we can just say that this is going in both directions forever. All real numbers, the whole number line should be shaded.